Welcome, welcome, everyone, to Chess Wiz TV, episode 246. Today is May 3rd, 2016. We're doing something we've never done before on Chess Wiz TV, of course, but this is something we should have done by now. It's called Extinction Chess. It's a pretty popular chess variant. The only reason we haven't done it is because it actually doesn't exist on chess.org, but I ran out of patience, ran out of time, so now we're going to actually um, do it anyway. So let's go to this website, Le Chess, and uh, play with a friend. We have to find friends so they don't cheat. So Extinction Chess is a special variant where if if one of your species or pieces goes extinct, which is like completely ca casual, cancel. Who chose casual? That's terrible. Um, and now I'm on like a page that has nothing on it. It just says okay on the screen. So that was weird. Um, like can't challenge cancel. Okay, let's try again. Play with a friend. Rated. I don't know how that happened. That's super weird. I always play rated extinction chess. So in extinction chess, one type of piece would be like your knight. So if you lose all of your knights, you lose the game. That's like your knight. Your knights are your king, but you have two of them. And if you lose both, you lose. So this will be uh, interesting. Extinct, extinction chess. If you lose, if you, I can't type all, all, lose all of any type of piece. You must resign. Now I should say you lose, but since we're on the chess, you simply must resign. So the two bishops are pretty useful because you have two of them. The rooks are very useful because they don't usually get in trouble in the opening. The queen is as valuable as a king. So let's see how this goes. Uh, uh, I think knight f6 here. Knight c6 is fine. I'm being told by rising super giant that, uh, that there is some information for me. I will bring out my bishop. Let's keep this knight a little bit safe in case it gets into some danger. I look very much to Chris Morris, who is a cricketer from South Africa. Please search him in Google, and if you think yes, then please play a game against me. And if I think no, then don't. Please play a game against you. This is a very strange conditional. You know, I hear phrases like, if this, but, but it's obviously true either way. Like, for example, for example, someone might say, the toilet paper is under the closet if you need some. Well, where is it if I don't need some? Those stupid conditionals. So here we have something similar. So his knight is trying to get something spicy on my bishop. I think that's pretty clever. But not very clever. Actually, that's pretty clever. He has all the control here. That's, that's pretty clever. And it's a smart move, I think. I'm, I'm not gonna, not gonna just give into it though. So my knight and bishop are here, they're pretty safe. If you need it, All right? Obviously not a properly used conditional phrase. So I need to look up Chris Morris. Oh, Chris Morris, that is so close to Chuck Norris. Same quantity of letters. Five letters starting with C, six letters starting with mm. That's pretty much Chuck Norris. So what he's saying is, you are Chuck Norris, right? So let's look it up, Chuck Norris. Oops, I searched for Chuck Loris. There's no such man. I'm dropping frames. Ah, I'm dropping frames. What's wrong with my internet? This is weird. Okay, so the knight will come out here. It's my last knight. I should probably play this actually. Um, I'm having trouble with my connection. Fortunately, my chess game is going very well. I think that's the right move actually. It's weird that I'm dropping frames. So here's Chuck, Chuck Norris. No, 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 Chuck Norris. So let's see if I look like Chuck Norris. I want to capture this knight and this knight. So I could take this one, but then my bishop would be highly prized. And if I bishop in for him, he'll move here. And then my bishop is like, ah, and I don't really capture his knight. So let's, although I don't know if he can benefit from that move. Because I have two rooks, I'm eager to use them for something. I think I need to play here. The knight is too valuable. No, I don't look like him. Let's try Chris Morris. I already knew what Chuck Norris looked like. Oh, uh, no, I don't like look like Chris Morris either. This is a terrible disappointment. Uh, this move is all right with me. Probably should have played all the way back. Roundup's playing a little bit weird here. Go castle. Rook b8, highly tempting. I didn't take the bishop. Oh, I should have taken his bishop and he would have to resign. I need to go after that bishop. 
I also I could take this part. Okay, so if I take this knight, I win. If I take this bishop, I win. If I take this queen, I win. If I take this king, I win. Oh, I lose. Oh, oh, that was my last night. Wow, okay, so my brain is not particularly sharp today. My excuse is that yesterday I ran a great distance, about six and a half kilometers without stopping, and so now my brain is like <laughs> It takes me about 48 hours to play better chess after such an event. So let's see if I can, uh, see. <laughs> See if I can play better. One more game of Extinction Chess, which I've pasted right here, the rules. I think I'll do quite well this game. I think I'm going to do 1,000% better. One is, one is about 1,000% of zero, isn't it? No. It's infinity percent more. It always bothers me when people try to do a percentage of zero. It bothers me whether they think that it's a certain amount, which they're wrong, or if they say infinity percent, which kind of bothers me too, because it's a cheesy math joke that I've heard too many times. Oh, that's pretty smart, right? I'll play c3, so the knight doesn't do anything. The queen is like a king. He is a cricketer. Please search again. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, much better. I feel exonerated. You guys know what that means? Define exonerated. Except the problem is I've put it in the same search. Exonerated means I'm absolved from blame for a fault. And it's certainly a fault to look like that other weird Chris Morris. No offense to you, other weird Chris Morris, but I think you're weird. Oh, no, I need that bishop. No, this is bad. I was going to move my bishop here in a super clever fashion. However, with that being my last bishop, he would just take it om nom nom, and then I would suffer badly. Oh, he's playing very well. This guy knows his extinction. I'm impressed. Um, I'm going to have a problem here because when he takes, I can't take with queen. He would win with queen takes queen. So I'm forced to take with pawn, which I guess I'll do that. So yeah, I'm released from a duty or obligation. That's not quite true. So here's Chris Morris, the other Chris Morris, the better one, the one who looks like me. And if we get nice and close to him, what do you think? He looks to me like a man named Gibby, which, oh, larm, <laughs> larm, larm, I'm larming out loud. Let's play this other guy. Oh, hold on. Let me capture this, capture this first. Thank you, Rondep, for the uh, two games. I hope to play you later in the show, but let's keep it moving with a few more challengers. Nothing nothing too interesting in that game, except for maybe Bishop takes a free queen and wins instantly. That was an interesting ending, wasn't it? Oh, I was very interested by that. You know what was interesting about the game is that he was playing really well. The way he used his queen to threaten things without being threatened. That's pretty smart. Um, I think I can just play chess so far. Um, take. Uh, what's happening? Maybe this move? Uh, I better confirm. Are you playing Extinction Trussera? You want to know why I typed that at the end? Straw? I'll play my queen here. I should probably play d4. Or this check would be kind of cool too. Let's start with d4, and then we'll check him. His bishop is right here, see? So then I'm going to be able to take his two bishops if he blocks this way. He didn't. So I take this. No, because then check, and he gets my queen. Uh, boy, that was pretty smart of him. Oh, no. So if I take, he plays check. I'm playing first time with you. That's so true, Constance change. So true. So that was a terrible mistake for my for me. Um, blocking with a pawn is something I didn't anticipate. I guess I'll come back here. Here? I don't know what to do. Maybe I should just lose my bishop. Hmm. Hmm. There is a man named Gibby. I shouldn't take too much time, simply because... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm because of, I don't know. This was a stupid check. I guess I'll play here. All around bad. 
especially if I lose the bishop. Such a valuable piece. Uh, well, I, it's also well known, according to someone in the chat, that I look like the actor Sean Whalen. So let's see if that's true. Hmm, I don't think so. I don't look a little bit like this furniture at all. Let's add actor to the search. Michael Whalen, David Whalen, Sean Whalen. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't see any pictures of Sean Whalen, but here's Michael Whalen. Let's see, he's probably what he needs. What he means, oh yeah, I do look similar. I have the same quantity of ears, although I cover mine. That could be him, that could be him. Yeah, plus he's an actor, so he's super good at acting, which is a lot like me also. I mean, watch this. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, so I lost that, that's pretty bad. I only have one bishop now. It's such a bad move, but I can at least castle now and use my rook. Oops, did I search for seat Whalen? I'm not very good. Okay, seat Whalen. Let's change that to Sean. <laughs> okay, do we get a picture now? Whoosh! Yeah, I don't look like him at all. Look at his teeth. Look at his teeth, okay? Now, look at his teeth closer. Okay, let's bring his teeth up here. Does he look like me? Examine the teeth. Now, look that. Now, compare that to my teeth. Ready? That's the wrong button. My teeth are so much better because I don't have this part, this triangle right here. Let me show you exactly what I mean. See, I totally do not look like this guy because I don't have these little triangles. I can't believe you would think that. Okay, not a castle. Difficult chess, especially when I'm being distracted by these weird people who don't look like me at all. Always look at the triangles if you're being like, oh, you look like my friend Triangular Man in the, in the tooth. Yes, you do. You have the same triangles. Of course, your hair is way longer, and it is brown. And his brown's, his hair's yellow. Other than that, you've got those triangles. Okay, so this guy's just being smart. How do I overcome? How do I overcome with this move? Losing that bishop is such a serious disadvantage. He'll definitely win, but I could get second place here. So it's not too bad. Some people thought I was rude pointing out those triangles. And to them I say, you're right, I'm rude. But being rude is part of the show. I'm not actually rude in real life. Trust me on that. Just trust me. This move seems okay. Now I can take one of his bishops, leave me with one bishop to capture, but I can't get it. It's too far away. So, yeah. I guess I'll attack it again. I don't like the pressure here. Should I push my pawn and trade my cool knight for his awful bishop? I shouldn't, but I'm not going to let that stop me. So now I have one knight and one bishop. This knight is my super valuable and rare knight. I can't let him die in extinction chess. Oh, I win. I win. Fix. Six for blundering queen. I can't type that well, but blunder. Now you resign. So it, there was a queen trade, but if you lose your queen, you lose. And as you could see, I captured his queen slightly sooner by one move. So in this position, he's lost his queen, so he must resign. Queen takes f3. I hope he was playing extinction. So now you resign. If he doesn't understand English, then I've got a problem. Because he says, um, I'm playing first time with you. What, did he really think that this was chess all along? Let's, see, let's test that theory. Chess moves, chess moves, chess moves. Could be chess. Not very chess. I guess he'd be confused by this play. 
because <laughs> I wouldn't be afraid to uh, take on c3 otherwise. Um, I suppose he could think it's chess here. Yes, perhaps he didn't know we were playing extinction. This is a serious problem. He's like, question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, no. Um, did you know, did you know that this is extinction chess? Uh, maybe he doesn't speak English. What language is he from? He's from English. That's an interesting language. Let's play another chess game. Let's play with Enz Jovis. He certainly won't troll me like this. Poor guy. He doesn't speak all of the Englishes. Um, uh, stay on this, this is so difficult. Stay on this page. Duplicate this tab. L stay on this page. Duplicate this tab. And then play with Enz Jovis. I'm going to let him. No, I don't know. I'm sorry. What does it mean? Oh no! <laughs> what does it mean? It means this. I have to resign in a very confusing fashion. So that was actually a remarkable game of Extinction Chess compared to that, considering the fact that my opponent didn't know it. That was um, not the typical, I have to admit. <laughs> so let's hope that let's hope our next opponent is aware. Thank you. Thank you, Ernst Jovis. Any of you guys play table tennis? I'm an avid player. I'm learning something new, which is, oh, I have plenty of time to hit this ball, so I will run around. Table tennis is like tennis, except it's super tiny. It's like played on this little table. It's about this big. And when the ball is very high, you shouldn't swat on it with your backhand, which is when your arm is in front of your chest, because, because you just can't hit it very hard that way keep this knight super safe. Um, so instead you should swat at it with your forehand. So you should take the time to run around the ball. So here's the ball, right? So you go like this. Oh good, the ball is still there. It has to be kind of a slow ball. And then wham, you get to hit it with your forehand, which is off camera. It's so powerful. That's the strategy you should use. So I was practicing that the other day, uh, yesterday to be precise, and wow, I was bad at it. What I would do is I would run a little distance and I'd be like, the ball is coming down! And I would swing way too soon. My arm would be bent up like this, but I was super good at it, by the way. The guy who was teaching me was like, wow, you're really good at hitting that ball the wrong way because I've always done it wrong. So like, I have this skill where I'm all smashed up like this. And, like, well, and the ball just goes exactly where it should. But it's not very powerful because of the, the chicken stance that I've taken on. So I was trying to improve. found that to be very, very difficult. It's very hard to change your habits. And when your habit is... When your habit needs to be laundered, and you are a nun, that really becomes a problem. You can't change your habits. Never mind. If push, take, take, I lose my queen first. That's bad. Extinction chess. Think extinction. I need to get his bishop. Let's pin this. I should castle. Let's pin this. I should castle. I should pin this. Okay. Of course there is a possibility. Yeah. I, I think I just castle here. I thought about taking... Oh, I should just take... Oh, I, oh, oh, I should just take that. He can't take with pawn. I get his queen first. Sorry about the loud P in pawn. Pawn, pawn. Yeah, I'm, I'm blowing into my microphone. He couldn't take this way. He'd have to take with his rook. Oh, well. No, my last knight. Don't take it. No! Oops, that says hi, 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 hi. So let me explain to you why why I typed hi, 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 hi instead of no, 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 no. There's a very good reason for this. It's because I'm not an English speaker. I speak this language over here. It's called... Let me hide my, hide my logo here. Oh, that's not the logo I want to hide. Let's hide this logo. It says Colmax. See this? See this? See this right over here? This is my keyboard. So I go to type no, 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 and I type right here N... Oh, but my hand is a little bit off position because that's what happens to hands, you know? So I've typed over just a little bit. And so in the end, I've typed over here by one space and here by one space. I know you guys sit down at the computer and your hand is shifted by one. You type gibberish. Well, in this case, my gibberish is hi, hi, hi instead of no, no, no. It happens to me constantly. Someone asks me a question like, are you hungry? And then the answer is hi because I didn't look. I want to play the rated opponent. I'd love to play you, but you're not rated, so that's boring. Good luck, Auto90. Switch to a rated game, Lynn Ted Cruz. I'd like to play you at a rated game. I'll, play the, I'll probably try the Sicilian here. 
Rising Super Giant wants to play. Casual? You guys don't want to play Rated Extinction Chess? That'd be great. I think. I mean, what's the downside, right? Super good. Let's play the Accelerated Dragon Variation. Very stressful. This is not the first alternate keyboard layout I learned. I started learning Dvorak, of course, as everyone, every nerd does. And then after I became proficient at it, I could type at 90, 90 to 100 words per minute. And I'm like, wait, there's Arenzito? And I learned Arenzito, and then I could type that 90 words per minute, maybe 85. I didn't quite get as good at Arenzito. And then I'm like, wait a minute, there's Cormac. I am a crazy keyboard layout nerd, as it turns out. And so then I, uh, I learned Cormac, and now I've forgotten Arenzito because it was a pretty useless layout. I, I can get it right here. Need to preserve the knight here in this extinction game. But he can't play this, or I take him and win. It's his last knight, so C3 is his move. I think I better go this way, since the knight is so precious. In fact, he could play here and, and take my knight, actually. So I better, better take this very slowly and carefully. Very, very careful. Careful. Why does it say join us at Chess with TV? That shouldn't say that. It should say it over here. Why oh, is that off center? My life is so difficult. Okay, now the knight can move here. I'm going to fix that right now. Lovely. Okay, so I have to protect my knight. This is a cool move, guys, because the rooks, as you've seen, you've got way too many of them. You never even lose one of them, and you have two. So if I trade the rook for this bishop, then I will be putting it to good use. What do you think? Smart or stupid? I'm not sure. Not even sure. No, he spin my knight to my rook. No problem. I don't need my rook. But it will be hard to keep my knight alive. What do I have to do? This? Because if I play here, here, here. Yeah, this could work. Here first. And then here and here. Oh no, but what if he plays queen here? Then I escape. My knight is like a king right now. I need to keep it very safe. I don't mind losing the rook, actually. It just makes his bishop of critical importance. Very weird extinction chess. Very weird. Hello, YouTube viewers. You're not even watching live. You can't do things like this. Hello, episode. Hello, mate Amargo. Oh forward slash. So you can't even do that. I'm communicating with these guys, whereas you have no communication with me. It's sad. It's inferior. Escape. Escape. That's funny. Spell just like the word escape. So my rook survived. That's good. I really haven't any idea what to do here. I'm going to trade my rook for this bishop, and then I'm going to hunt the other bishop, like a hunting bishop hunting fiend. Okay, Alpha Strike says hi YouTube, so I have to put that on the screen. You ready? Die, bishop, die! I'm going to get you! I actually can catch this bishop. If I use all of my skills, or should I say both of my skills, I will totally catch it with this move. Oh, genius whiz! That was pretty smart. Look at that. I have plenty of bishops since I sacrificed the exchange, but my opponent, he's nearly out of bishops after this move. I don't see that he will have any escape. Checkmate! Jimmy Five! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I beat Jimmy Five two episodes ago. I win. Resign quick before you take my queen. Yes! Oh! I want an extinction chest. This is so hard. Wow. You should play this with your friends. It's pretty fun. I have time for one more game, then we're going to have to go. So is it Meta Margo or is it Lin Ted Cruz? Well, I would love to play you Meta Margo, but Lin Ted Cruz, Lion, oh, Lion Ted Cruz. I guess you're just saying that Ted Cruz is a liar. He went ahead and changed his game to a rated, so I do want to give him the chance. And Meta Margo, he's such a regular viewer that I could just slap him in the face. He'd still come back, so I don't really need to honor him with any special game today. 
course I'm being facetious. You know why I would be facetious? Because of alphabetical vowels. Look at this. Facetious. Faci I can't spell facetious. Ah, that's so embarrassing. It's spelled with a T, of course. And I put a, a, a C in there. This is slightly too large. So facetious has all of the vowels in alphabetical order. A, E, I, O, U. It's the only word in the English language with all of the vowels in alphabetical order. That would explain why I'm so facetious on this show. Because I just love that word. There's nothing else to do except be facetious just because it's so, so good. Um, 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 not this move for sure. I guess this move. No, he's gonna play this stupid check. I'll leave that pawn. Let's play here. Yeah, that covers g4. There's these lines where white plays g4 in this position and really annoys the bishop because the knight's gonna take it. But I can't do that now, right? Two attackers. <gasps> Two defenders. What am I gonna do with myself? Trade bishops. I'll just trade bishops. Crank up the facetious right now. This is my last bishop. Let's not lose it. I'm sorry, rising super giant. The episode is ending. We won't have time to play. Next time, hang around. You can go to the website. The address is right there. And then get on the next show and I'll play you. Uh, trade Knights is okay with me. What I really want to do is trade my rook for some lame piece because then with my rook, other yeah, then I would win, right? Just like that of the game. You don't need rooks in this variant. You just don't. There's too many of them. I think that's the number one thing to remember in Extinction Chess is that rooks are totally not very important. See, he's trying to bring his rook in the game. That's the kind of fiend he is. He's a rook-bringing fiend. Fiend isn't a very good word. It doesn't have any use in it. There is another word that has all of the vowels. They're just not in order. I should probably teach you that word in case you ever come into the need of that trivia. I think this is okay. He can't like this move. Fortunately, if he puts the pressure on the knight, I'm in trouble because it's my last knight, so I have to be very careful. The word is, oh no, I'm out of time. I can't tell you the word. Check. Now, he has like nothing, so how do I win? If I capture anything of his, I will win. Oh, if he captures anything of mine, then he will win. No, he's farked me! No! Oh, he's going to take my most valuable species! Oh, colon capital! Oh, I must resign! That was a good move. Lynch, Ted Cruz, whatever your name is. Queen c3, forking my knight and bishop. Oh, very nice. He was going to trade for my knight. It'd be my last knight, and then I was going to resign. Very good. Very good. That says very good. Very good. So the other word with all of the vowels is unquestionably, but as you can see, it's not quite as beautiful because it has two U's, and they're not at all in alphabetical order, but it does contain the Y. So if you like the word Y, which is a word, by the way, then you should use facetiously, which also ends with the Y, and it uses it in the terms of the vowel, and it does have all the vowels facetiously. And it's easy to spell once you know that all the letters are in alphabetical order. A, E, I, O, U, Y. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, that's what ZD is just so educational. I mean, I turn on this show just so I can learn things. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I learned how to lose at Extinction Chess. I did a lot of losing today. Extinction Chess, by the way, is a, is a well-played game. It's too bad it's not on the website because, you know, people have heard of it and played it quite a bit. It's kind of like anti-chess where there's a, there's a community of players who play it. They're just not here. So I think that would be a fun variant to add. Next episode, by the way, we're going to go to the website and find out because I've just added some new news. Horror to chess next. That's going to be horrible. Don't join for that. Then we're going to play Crazy House where we overvalue the knights because when you drop a knight, it can't be blocked because uh, they jump. So that'll be an interesting game. Uh, then next week, we'll play a new variant called Recaptureless Chess. And what will we do for episode 250? Not even I know. So you won't find out. And then Exploding Everywhere. So that's what's coming up next. The rest of the month hasn't even been planned out yet, but that doesn't mean it won't be awesome. This has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching.